The driver was not wearing a seatbelt, so when he crashed into the drainage ditch, he slumped over as the car went on its side. His face went in the water. He was unconscious. First responders got to the crash in Allegheny Township, Westmoreland County, in two minutes. But two minutes is plenty of time to drown. I came upon the accident itself, and I just saw the car in the water on its side. I said, I think I should stop. Corey Baylog was driving home from his shift at Allegheny Valley Hospital, where he works as a patient care associate. He also just happens to be a paid EMT and a volunteer firefighter. I saw that he was unresponsive, slightly breathing with his face in the water, so I helped the guy pull him out. A total of three men jumped in to help. The victim, David Antwistle, is diabetic and may have had a seizure. Corey says he's at least six feet tall and more than 250 pounds. Plus, he was down in the water, fully clothed, so the water was actually soaking into his clothes and made him even heavier. And just the way the car was leaning to the side, it was fighting against gravity to actually pull him up into the where he needed to be. Corey opened the driver's side door and sat on the open frame and pulled. We were all caught one, two, three, and pulling. One, two, three. It took like three or four times to actually pull him into the driver's seat. Once the ambulance arrived, Corey kept working, getting David on the stretcher, checking his vitals, all because he was driving by in that moment, that second. Just driving by, and it's just something that I do. David Entwistle is still in the hospital, but his condition is stable. His family says they are grateful to a team of good Samaritans that didn't mind getting cold and wet to save a life. I love helping people, so I just keep doing it. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.